Kills when I guess. Jake here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing my first ever year in review video. I know, pretty exciting. Now, I'm gonna be talking about my Digital Storm PC. Um, I've had it for a year. I got it last September 2019, and it is now September 2020, obviously. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my experience with the computer and how I think it runs overall, how fast it is, is it slow at some stuff, uh, what works best for games if you're gonna be playing games on it and stuff like What I have personally been using my PC for, is it easy to clean, do I prefer console gaming or PC gaming with Digital Storm, and my overall rating out of 10. But this is just going to be my opinion, you guys don't have to obviously follow anything that I say because this is all my opinion on how I rate stuff, but I'm going to recommend um, my personal thoughts if I'd rather play PC or play console. But let's get right into the video. Okay, starting off with my experience. So my experience with this computer has been really good over the past year. I have almost used it every day. Ever since I got my MacBook, I have been using this basically every day. Um, unless, of course, I've been really busy with like school or work or stuff like that. I haven't really been using my laptop, obviously, because I've been doing other stuff. But I have been using my PC almost at least three times a week, I want to say. Um, but recently, in the past month, I did not have internet, so I did not was not able to use my PC. But I did get it back today, thankfully. So I have been using it a lot for like school stuff, um, Zooms that I've been having today. My experience, I have really had no trouble with it. I mean, when I, you first started up, you gotta wait a couple minutes to like click Safari or on anything basically, because it's gotta like wake up, I guess, after being in sleep mode um, from when you last used it, which is, that's probably my only problem. Otherwise, it runs really smooth once you have it going for a while and I have played numerous games on it and the games have been running smoothly and if you guys are wondering what PC I actually have, it is the Digital Storm Lynx version 2, or Lynx 2 I guess. So that's my experience. How fast it runs, I guess, you know, it really depends on what you're going to be using it for. If you're going to be using it for video editing, um, it might be a little bit slower, but I definitely think it can handle stuff like that. Although if you're going to be using it for strictly gaming, for like PC gaming, stuff like that, um, I guess it really depends on what type of gaming you will be doing on it, such as like if you're doing Fortnite or PUBG or um, Horizon 4, I feel like it can handle those types of games really good. I personally only played Fortnite on it. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to play the other games. I know it's been a year that I've had it, but I still haven't gotten a chance to really do that. But if you're playing minor games such as like online games or like Roblox or stuff like that, it should definitely be able to handle the smaller games because it is built to have like a higher graphics and stuff for like the bigger games. So obviously it can handle the smaller games just fine. Now personally what I have been using it for I know you guys might hate me for this, but <laughs> I've been using it for like gaming here and there, obviously. Not really editing, because I do like to edit on my laptop where I'm in bed and I can just relax and edit like one time through. I use this mostly to, to like keep up with YouTube and like social media stuff and to update everything. I know for, it was a whopping $1,200 and for that price, I don't know if I'm using it to the full extent that it's worth which is unfortunate. I do plan on using this more down the road. Maybe down the road again, I will probably be getting like Premiere Pro and maybe trying to edit on this, which will definitely be a challenge because I'm used to editing on my laptop. Now my next subject is, is it easy to clean? With my experience, I have cleaned it like once or twice over the whole time I've had it, which is not good. I recommend cleaning it at least once a week or maybe even once a month. It is pretty simple to clean. It has a whole glass front with two bolts and the bolts are easy to take off. You just unscrew them, take the glass part off, and you can easily get inside of the PC to clean it. Now, do I recommend Digital Storm or Xbox or even PlayStation? So with my personal experience, I am an Xbox player. I am not a PlayStation player. I used to be, I used to have the PS4, but I did get rid of it because it was not meant for me i just really feel like i connected more with xbox and but that's just me you guys may have different opinions um but i'm just gonna rate it whether you should get into pc gaming or console gaming so with my experience i definitely recommend 
um, console gaming. That's just me though because I don't really use PC for gaming that much. I'm more of a console. Um, if you think you are going to use PC more, then I definitely recommend going for PC over the console because with PC you can do a lot more than just compared to console where you can only just game or watch Netflix or YouTube. Okay, and finally, my overall rating of this PC. Honestly, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this PC about 7, 7.5, between 7 and 8, so 7.5, I guess. Um, that's because I personally don't use it a lot, um, as I should for the price. <laughs> I don't really remember. Let me look it up, actually. Looking it up, guys. Okay, so mine was $9.99 plus tax, which came out to be around $1,100, give or take. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what the specs are. My PC, Lynx Level 2, comes with a Core i7 processor. It has 8GB Digital Storm Performance Series memory. It has two high-speed internet connection ports. It is not wireless. I think you can get that option if you want a wireless connection, but I don't know why you would want to do that because wire wired connection to the PC itself is actually a better connection than having wireless. So if you were going to be doing hardcore gaming, definitely recommend getting the wired version. Don't spend extra money to get the Bluetooth transmitter and stuff like that. Don't do that. It's got extreme cooling to keep it cool, so it has a bunch of fans going around the whole time so that when you're playing for hours on hours, it does not overheat and explode. It does have color LED changing lights, which I thought is a great addition. Why not add that into a boring PC? It helps you customize your setup better, depending on what type of color theme you go for. I really don't have a color theme at the moment. I'm gonna plan on upgrading that later. Like some people have red, blue, green. They got all of that. It actually comes with this remote right here, and you can change it to either white, red, green, or blue. Kind of see that? Well, you guys get the idea, right? I usually have it on white or blue because the white is almost like a light blue, and I really like the blue, but it is really dark blue. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of a light kind of person. As you can see, my desk is really dark, and I really want to upgrade this to like a lighter color to match my overall theme because the rest of my stuff in my room is kind of a lighter, creamier color. So yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more videos. I'm really trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It really would mean a lot. And I'm trying to get out at least two videos per month, if not more, for you guys because I'm really trying to dedicate my time to YouTube this year. So yeah, just um, let me know for more video ideas. Thank you.